Hey everyone, it's Yvette and welcome back. Today I am doing the closet confidential tag that I have been wanting to do for probably like two months now. Ever since it first started, I remember I was watching Toddy from a Glam Life Guru and the first time I saw that I was like, I'm doing this tag, but I just haven't had a chance to do it. So I'm doing it. This is a six question tag about my closet and I. Bobo! Really? You're making music right now? <laughs> of course. And I will be tagging some people down below, so make sure you check to see if your name is listed down there. If it's not, go ahead and do this tag anyways. Everyone's tagged. It's just fun to tag some people to, you know, give them the oomph to do something, so that's what I'm doing. And yeah, so these are questions in regards to me and my closet. So if you want to know more about me, my closet, and I, just keep watching. Okay, so the very first question is, what is the oldest item in your wardrobe slash closet? I am basing this off of age. I'm not basing this off of what I've been wearing forever because that's what I think this question is about. So I went in my closet, I looked at all of my old things because I kind of have like a section for old items and what I thought was probably the oldest is an outfit that my mama gave me and she purchased this about 25 years ago because my mama, my dad and I came out here, I was born in Hungary if you guys didn't know. And we came out here to pretty much start our lives and all that stuff. So my mom was really into fashion and I remember she would spend like her whole paycheck on a pair of shoes. Like, and I think this is where I get my shoe addiction from and my, my whole fashion, my makeup, my love for all that. Because they do say, you know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. So I definitely have a thing for nice shoes, nice clothes, lots of makeup. And I just, I love, I love that I share that with my mom. She knows exactly what I'm talking about. Even though she doesn't wear the stuff she used to wear back in the day, she still knows the style because it was in back then and all that stuff. And she gave me this outfit years ago. I haven't worn it and I probably will never wear it, but it is something that meant a lot to her. And this was one of the first things she purchased as soon as she got out to the States and it was a leather outfit. I mean, this is pretty sexy, you know what I mean? But it is just a really good quality leather outfit. And my mama was really, really tiny back in the day. My dad could like put his hands around her waist. She was probably a size zero. And look, well, first of all, look at the tag. Look how old it is. It is like fading and turning yellow. And this has been in plastic. So you know it's definitely getting old but it says that this is a size 7 now if my mama was a size 7 back in the day I don't know what a size 0 would be <laughs> so I don't know but anyways this was $49 when she purchased this 25 years ago so not quite sure you know how expensive it was or anything but I just I really do love it and it means a lot to her and I just, I, I don't know if I'd ever wear it, but this is probably the oldest piece in my closet. Moving on to number two, what is the newest item? Well, I did a little shopping so I can't really say what my newest item was because I did purchase like a whole outfit, but the very first thing would be this top that I have on. It's by Chloe K, I believe. And it's just a uh, kind of a short um, top. I'll show you guys the whole outfit, but I just wanted to show you the breakdown really quick. And I also picked up this Steve Madden belt, which is reversible. So I love this. And I actually picked up these J brand jeans and they're called like the Lux, Lux something. And they're really soft. They almost feel like suede but I, they're not suede they just they feel really really soft and they're just uh, 
a typical, you know, skinny jean, but they're just so comfortable. Okay, so number three, what is the most expensive item? And this would have to be my Christian Louboutins. These are the new simple pumps in the 120. These are the patent leather black ones. I know I've told you guys this story before, but for all my newer subscribers, um, my new simple pumps are like my favorite pair of shoes I own, not just because they're Louboutins, but the story is just too cute. So um, it was funny because I've been wanting a pair of Louboutins in general for years and years. And the first Christmas I asked for them, I didn't get them. Eric is just the type of guy that he likes to get things when you least expect them. So I didn't get them for that Christmas. Then my anniversary was coming up and he was like, mm, no, no, no. So I was like, okay, well, when I didn't expect them, like the next Christmas, um, he showed up with a box that was wrapped in a Harley Davidson Christmas wrapping paper. And I, I told him I wanted like a back seat for the Harley. Well, I really thought it was the back seat for the Harley. I had no idea that they were my shoes wrapped in that paper. So yeah, he had the shoes wrapped in Harley paper and he put them under the tree and I was like, oh, I know what that is, you know? He's like, do you know what that is? And I said, I know what that is. It's the back seat. That's what I wanted. And he was like, okay, well, a couple days went by and he couldn't take it anymore. He made me open it and I pretty much fell to the ground and they were my Louboutins. So, um, I love these shoes. They are amazing. They are so comfortable. I can wear them for like probably eight hours. I have went dancing in them. I did, I've done everything in them. I mean, my poor souls, I hate when that happens, but it's, it's a way of life when it comes to these shoes. But they're just really comfy and they were like 600 and some odd dollars. I can't even remember what, I think they're a little bit more expensive now than they were. I'm not quite sure, but they were 600 something. So I just love these, they're my, they're my babies. Okay, so the next question is, what is the cheapest, most affordable item that you wear and use a lot? Uh, probably my um, t-shirts from Target. They are seriously like the best things ever. I'm a big t-shirt person. I don't know why, I just, I love a good t-shirt. And these ones from Target are like $9. I seriously have them in like every single color. And uh, I just, I love them. So you cannot go wrong with a good t-shirt. And they just look so good with jeans, uh, shorts, I mean, everything and anything, and they're just nice quality shirts. And these are the ones by um, Massimo that uh, Target carries, and they always have them, so I, I definitely stock up on those, and sometimes they even have them on sale for like $6. So, hello, you just you can't go wrong with those. Okay, so number five, what was the biggest bargain? Now, this is this was a bargain. Let me just tell you the story about this one. Um, I actually got this Louis Vuitton from my mom-in-law. And she is just a handbag fanatic. And um, I have the regular little Speedy, which I love to death. And she was getting ready to pretty much get rid of some of her purses. And she paid... I don't know what this, I think this is probably like around 600 or something like that. And she told me, well, I'm going to be selling this. Do you want it? I said, okay, how much do you want for it? She was like, uh, like 200. I was like, okay. And she barely used it. And I just, I seriously love this one. It is awesome. And, um, it's not like a huge bag, but it's just nice for when you're going out on like a date night or dinner, you don't have to, you know, hold anything. So it's just a great little, um, you know, shoulder bag. And I was like, okay, you can't beat that. It was almost brand spanking new. And I have worn the heck out of this thing. So definitely a huge, huge bargain. So last but not least, question number six 
is what was the biggest waste of money? Oh, okay. I am a person that if I don't like something as soon as I try it on or my mama used to always tell me there's one thing that you do not like about something, do not buy it because you will not wear it or you're just going to be mad at yourself or spending the money and then you just have to go back and return it and I, it's like been engraved in my brain. So it doesn't matter if it's a t-shirt, pair of shoes, jeans, if I don't like one thing, I will not buy it. So this was really, really hard because I don't have very many things that I spent money on that I do not like. So I'm sad to say this, but my Tory Burch Revas or Revas, I forgot the name of these. I'll put it down below. I love these. I love the way they look. They are just so classy in every way, shape, and form. But no matter what I do, I mean, I have stretched the living daylights out of this. My dad has even tried to stretch it. I have him stretch at Nordstrom's. I put like these giant, you know, wet socks on and try to really stretch them out. I use blow dryer. I have used everything and no matter what the band still hurts my foot well my ankle I should say and I remember when I bought them for Christmas the sales guy told me don't size up because it'll be too loose which it was my foot was definitely you know falling out every single step I took but when I got my size, they, they feel okay for about 15, 20 minutes and they just hurt so bad that I can't wear them. They're just sitting in my closet. I'm probably going to like sell them because I just, I can't, I mean, maybe it's just my foot. I, but I've heard a lot of people say that the band really is not comfortable, but not all of our flats are like that. There's the other flats with more of like the elastic band that goes around that no one's ever had a problem with so I might go try those but these ones they're just yeah it's such a bummer because they look amazing but for the price I just I can't do it so sad to say that's the biggest waste of money and yeah so this was my closet confidential tag so I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching don't forget to follow me on Instagram and thumbs up this video if you liked it do check out down below if I did tag you, if I didn't tag you, go ahead and do the tag if you'd like. Message me, comment down below, let me know if you did do it. I will go watch your video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.